Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Better late than never, but today's video is my January beauty favorites. I have a hodgepodge of things in front of me right now and I'm praying I don't forget something for today's favorites. <laughs> I have so many items. It has been a marathon video day again, as usual. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as turn on the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. Let's go ahead and dive into January favorites. Indulge me for a moment. I mentioned a long time ago that I have an Etsy store and I've kind of been neglecting my Etsy store a little bit just because I've been super busy trying to film videos, trying to get them up for you guys. And it's competitive out there on Etsy, especially in the mask business. I sell a lot of masks just to people in general. And I didn't really mean to stumble into this business. I just happened to know someone who makes really great face masks and I enjoyed them. People liked what they saw on me and wanted them. Everybody comes to see me to purchase face masks. My inventory on my store is low. I don't want to have hundreds of face masks that I'm selling and then suddenly we really don't need them anymore and then I'm stuck with hundreds of masks. I just share it with you guys because they're really good and in case any of you need face masks or like really cute face masks that are a little bit more attractive, be sure to check out my Etsy page. So I just wanted to show you guys a few of my new styles that I have recently posted or uploaded onto my Etsy store. This blue polka dot one is available in my store right now and it has these white elastic bands and sometimes she makes it with black bands but many of them have the white elastic bands and it's kind of scooped out around your nose if you have a little bit of a smaller face some people wear them upside down with the straight part across the nose so i'm gonna just apply it really quickly so here you go And this is what it looks like and these just are very breathable and they fit really nicely and 95% of the time I'm wearing these face masks I'm just gonna show you a couple of styles that are popular like I have this leopard print and that one sold like hotcakes <laughs> recently I also have this one to myself and I like this one I wear a lot of black clothing and gray here's one that's sort of a cream color and it has a floral pattern several people will purchase this one to wear with like khaki colors and it seems to go with a lot of clothes i like this gray stripe that's really nice there are a few solids on my site as well and this one is really nice for the man in your life <laughs> have some women who buy that one as well and my daughter and I both fell in love with this one and I have this one too it can go with like jeans but it has like some khaki in it as well so it looks really good with browns or khaki clothes like I have like a cream color brownish sweater that I will wear this with as well and it looks really pretty just so you know right now I am running a 25% off sale if you spend $35 you get free shipping I will have my Etsy store linked down below if you'd like to check it out we all love makeup so I'm gonna start with makeup and then I will move back to my skincare body care hair hair okay I do have a few repeats in this video but I do have a few new ones to talk about so primer is still no secret the ordinary high adherence silicone primer i also have been reaching for the tula primer i didn't bring that one back again because i've talked about probably this one and that one so much but this one is getting close to like empty i've used it so much but this is a fantastic primer for adhering your makeup to your skin and it works beautifully with the face mask it helps your makeup last all day and it helps keep it from rubbing off on your mask as much so this one by the ordinary is so good i also have been reaching for my tatcha the silk canvas and i don't have that much left and now that it's winter time i really wanted to see if i could use this up a little bit more i find that 
it in the summer this kind of gets a little more oily on my skin in the winter time I really like using my more hydrating primers that's when they perform best on my skin and this one has been beautiful it definitely blurs I have the point perk size of the liquid version feels very much the same to me but I do have that one as well I like that it has kind of skincare properties but it's really good primer I've been reaching for this a lot lately as well my favorite thing that I want to make sure to say to you guys is mix your foundations. When I mix my foundations, I get a nice surprise. And it's just like I put on new foundation by mixing them. So that would be one of my recommendations for you guys to just try something new and mix different foundations together and see what you get because you'll be surprised. I just love that. One concoction that I figured out this month that I've been mixing is I have a La Mer foundation that I purchased that is light on me. This is Honey and at the time Amber, which is the shade that I wear now, they didn't make Amber. I've been mixing it with this Naked foundation and this is 70 in N and this works really nicely on my skin in the summertime but it's definitely too deep for me right now. It's very dark. You can see very different but together, magic. And I've just been loving this combo. So if you happen to have these two, they look really great together. Both of them give you a very natural, uh, lightweight, skin-like finish. This is $125 and this is much more affordable. And you get a very skin-like finish, so you can't go wrong with either one of them. But I've been loving that combo. I've still been wearing the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in Cadiz. It's also just a hair light, but it was the shade that Sephora recommended. So I oftentimes will mix this with it as well and they give me very similar vibes this is a little more full coverage I think I would say maybe a little more full coverage but they both have that kind of matte because even though this is like stay naked I think this sort of looks matte it's weightless liquid foundation 24 hour wear but it just seems like some of my matte foundations and they just feel similar on my skin so they mix very well together as well and so I've been really mixing trying to kind of mix this deeper one in with a lot of my foundations that are a little bit light okay so also a very good combo. The final foundation I want to mention is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Dewy. I think I talked about it in my yearly favorites video so that made me whip it back out and I started wearing this throughout the Christmas month and then I continued to wear it in January. This is such a beautiful foundation for drugstore. It's a beautiful foundation period. When I'm running out quickly and I don't plan on being gone very long, that's when I like to use my drugstore foundations. I like don't want to use a pump of $50 foundation to wear for an hour when I can wear a $6 foundation. So that's when I will grab these, but I still want those foundations to look amazing on my skin. And this is one of those amazing foundations. This one is the shade Toffee and I had to order it from Wet n Wild. It's, it's dewy, but it's not super dewy. It just looks like a natural finish once I powder it. I just love it. It's so good and it's just full coverage. It gives you a beautiful beat. Love this. So those are the foundations that I've been wearing this month. Moving on to concealer. I've really been reaching for my regular Tarte Shape Tape concealer quite a bit this month. I've also been using the creamy version of the Tarte Shape Tape that seems to have vanished. This doesn't cover my dark circles as well as the original and I don't know if that's why this one <laughs> seems to have discontinued but it was on QVC's website but now it's no longer anywhere to be found. But I've also been reaching for my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This one's the shade Tan Neutral and it is really good as an under eye concealer and I've been using that a lot. And of course my Dior Forever Skin Correct. This is definitely Holy Grail full coverage concealer every single month this is what I'm using. It really is and when I don't talk about it it's just because I know you guys are tired of hearing about it. This one is 3WP. It's a warm peach color and I love it. So those were the concealers that I reached for a lot in January. Now let's talk about powder. All of the powders that I've been loving, still loving, but what I've been reaching for recently and I started doing it in January, still been doing it. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in deep beige. I purchased this lighter shade for my concealer areas because that's where I tend to get oily. It's affordable because it's you know drugstore. It doesn't come with a puff or anything. I'm either using a brush to kind of buff it in my t-zone area and sometimes all over just depending. 
but I've been using this and this is dirty. I'm going to wash it. I'm going to wash it this weekend, <laughs> but I have really been using this Laura Mercier puff and I have been taking this puff and pressing it here and then I've been using it to sort of press in to my concealer areas. I probably could use a little bit. Okay. Just so you see how it just mattified that part of my forehead right there. You see that? <laughs> so I've been using this little puff and I really like applying it that way. And then after I take this and press it into the t-zone i still like to use some sort of translucent powder and i've been grabbing my hourglass veil powder because it is not super mattifying and i don't want to apply very matte pressed powder and then follow it with a matte translucent powder and it'd be too matte so i've been using this and you guys remember this is the one with the beautiful packaging it gives you a beautiful finish but it doesn't add a lot of longevity so i just like pairing these two together that way i don't have this super dry under eye and my t-zone is more matte and I just have this really flawless, very smooth under eye. And by the way, most of what I'm talking about today, I didn't use on my face today because I filmed some other videos. So unfortunately, a lot of my favorites I'm not wearing. <laughs> but anyway, that's been my little powder combo. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I talk about it all the time, but I made a switch back to my Huda Beauty powder. And this one is in Banana Bread. It's a creamy kind of translucent powder as far as the color and I've been using this one a lot in the month of January. It's one of my all-time favorites and I like to rotate my powders around and this one is the one in the rotation right now. A couple of brow products that I've really been feeling in the month of January. One is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I think this one is in the shade 4.5 and it's the one that is kind of comparable probably to the Brow Wiz as far as the size of it and it does have a spoolie on the end. It's what I use to sculpt my brows today and I really like this brow pencil. I like the color and it's just been, it's been a joy to use. It's nice and creamy and I get a really nice brow with this one. But I think the star of the show for me is this L'Oreal brow product. <laughs> this is a brow stylus shape and feel. And I think probably the reason I like this one a little bit more is I think I'm leaning lately more towards this chunkier brow type of pencil. This one is kind of like the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the brow definer. This is the shade Brunette. It does have a spoolie and I used it in a recent video and fell in love with this. I can see myself buying this L'Oreal brow pencil on the regular and then just supplementing with these more high-end brow pencils and maybe purchasing them when they're on sale. Okay, quick update. I did repurchase this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish is what it is and this is the shade number two and i have been using this kind of in my t-zone area to sort of brighten to set before i go in with translucent powder sort of how i use the rimmel powder and i actually really have been enjoying this and it gets my stamp of approval but i just wanted to tell you guys it's still amazing powder and i really like it when setting my t-zone area it just smooths my under eyes and it makes it look like just snatched and i really like this powder i really want to just shout out this bite size elf product the bite size eyeshadow <laughs> is what it's called not so much as a favorite but just an update to let you guys know how good these bite size shadows are i did try this out in a recent video these are very very good and i didn't want to wait until next month to talk about them in a favorites video because they're three dollars and you might as well know about them now because they are certainly worth three dollars and there are so many shades to choose from i also have like this berry one this is very bad this is truffle i tried out truffle and the mattes are amazing i didn't use the silver shade yet i think it's gonna probably work out for me and this is the other one that i picked up and i will be trying this out soon i didn't want to wait until my next favorite video to let you know about the so I just wanted you to know these are good just like in my last favorites video I'm wearing the Pat McGrath Celestial palette I tend to want to grab these 
when I'm filming because they're just gorgeous eyeshadow colors and very bright and just really pretty for creating something unique. So it's a favorite when it comes to that. Like I wanted a more wow type of eyeshadow look. This is the palette that I will grab because of the color story. It just gives you a lot of unique looks that are very dramatic. So I do like this palette in it. I think it's quite affordable for Pat McGrath. I also mentioned this last month, so I'm not gonna talk about it that much. I have been talking about it in the last few favorites videos. This is the Bejeweled palette by Charlotte Tilbury, and it is honestly the palette that I reach for every single day right now. I don't know if it's the color story, it just is perfect for winter. The shimmers are so beautiful. Like I wear this a lot. I wear these purples a lot in this gold. These are just some of the ones that I reach for on a daily basis. I can pull off like, you know, red smoky eye and go to work with this palette. I took this one back with me to my work home so that I can wear it to work. And I don't know if it's because of the size is so travel friendly, but it's just the palette I reach for every day. I have to kind of make myself reach for something else. I just like it that much. I talked about this bronzer in last month's video and it's really the one that I have been reaching for a lot. And I feel like I missed out because I've had it for a while and I just wasn't using it. This one is by Lawless and it is called Summer Skin and this one is Blazed. I mentioned that my daughter also tried this when she was at her deepest and it did nothing for her. But I forgot to mention too that at the time we filmed that video, she also did not like highlight with concealer and she didn't have on a lot of powder products on her face. So oftentimes when you try to go in with a bronzer and you don't have any light colored products on your face, you're not going to really see the bronzer. But for me, this is beautiful. And I've just been reaching for it every single day. And it's just this really rich, earthy color. I don't know if you guys can see how rich that is. It's mattifying, but it's sort of a natural finish. But it, it doesn't have like a lot of sheen or shimmer. It just looks stunning and I just love it. It's beautiful and it's certainly worth it. The packaging is is cute to be white but a white bronzer <laughs> you know you just look at it. I just got it dirtier just now. You're going to get this absolutely filthy because it's bronzer. I mean it's going to be messy so that's the only thing. I wish it wasn't in a white package but I love this and I still keep it in the nice little box there. A bronzer that I keep here at my home that I always reach for that I want to mention again also in ugly packaging is the Cover FX bronzer that is in the white soap packaging. It looks like a bar of soap. It's the monochromatic bronzer in the shade Suntan Bronze. I reach for this one so much. I have put such a dent in this bronzer. It just has this really soft fluffy powder and then this part can be added to add radiance and sheen. This is one that I just reach for a lot and I've been reaching for it quite a bit in the month of January. Okay, highlighters that I want to mention. I meant to mention this in my last favorites video. I used it in a recent video at some point, but I started going back to this little Gilded Honey from Laura Geller. It used to be like something that we all talked about so much. I'm not so sure how easy it is to get your hands on this. I feel like I have only been able to find it in like a set, but I'm not sure. I will link it down below if I can find this. But it is such a beautiful and stunning highlighter. I love this and I went back to it and started using it again. It was kind of shopping my stash. Another I went back to shopping my stash was this one by Ofra. There was a time when this Nikki Tutorials Everglow highlighter was like my all time favorite highlighter. I'm going to like do these separate here. This is probably the shade that I do reach for the most. And look at that. And then this one is really pretty on your inner tear duct. And sometimes you can mix these two together. And this might be better as like a blushy type of color. I don't use this shade that much unless I mix it in with the others. I love this highlighter. Whenever I want a really blingy highlighter and really want it to be visible, these are the ones that I use. I would just suggest picking up an Ofra highlighter if you are one that wants a really 
wham bam thank you ma'am in your face highlight the final highlighter that i want to mention is just the same one again is the hollywood superstar glow highlighter and i wanted to bring this one back up again beautiful packaging because this was one of these like highlighters that confused me almost it's a very soft powder and it at first glance it just seems like it's a subtle highlighter and it goes on so soft but I find that it actually is a little more radiant and beaming than you would think and what I do once I put this on and I set my face I find that this is one of those highlighters that just looks natural on your skin it is very visible but it just looks like you didn't apply highlighter it gives you that wet appearance so I just still want to like point out that this is just beautiful and it is that very glass like appearance but the powder doesn't really look like that like it doesn't have a shiny look at all when you look at this powder it it just looks more like powder it doesn't look very shiny and sheeny but once you get it on I just will come back after a few minutes of wearing it and I'm always amazed at how beautiful the highlight looks so I think this is a winner it's huge I don't know why you would need so much I mean it could have been half the size but it is gorgeous the only blush that I want to mention this month is my elf primer infused blush in always rosy and I really enjoy using this I did use this in a recent video but ever since that video I've been wearing this blush every single day and I filmed that video earlier in January I just now got it posted but I filmed it in January and I started using this blush right after filming that video and have been wearing it ever since this is definitely worth I think maybe the six dollars that I paid for it it is a gorgeous rosy beautiful blush before I talk about lips let me talk about some other things like my hair care body care skin care um, and a few random things I will have timestamps below if you want to kind of bounce around in this video so I do want to mention these lashes that I'm wearing I think Jaclyn Hill was the person that talked about these first the first person I heard mention these and it's like an affordable brand crown moetti or moti and these are woodwinked is the name I purchased like several pair back when she mentioned them and I think I tried them first loved them and then bought some more and I've been reaching for these quite a bit lately I've been wearing these a lot in various videos and I just want to mention them they're just a beautiful lash I like when it's tapered at the inner corner and then flares out they look like the house of lashes iconic lashes except they're more affordable so very good lashes right, let me mention a few skincare items I'm gonna really breeze through these I unboxed some products and filmed a video and I just want to come back and give you guys some updates on them I'm sorry but just about everything that I review that's been sent to me I love and these products are exactly the same so one brand that I unboxed was e-cooking was the brand this is a multi oil that of all the products this is definitely one I think I may have to purchase for myself because my hair has been loving this oil I wanted it for my hair but you can use it in multiple places you can use it on your skin as well but it is organic jojoba and sesame oil and my hair has been drinking this and loving it it's just been giving me the shiniest curls on my natural hair and I have loved it I've used about this much here down to about here um, since getting this and it is really really great for your hair but I will link it down below but I've been loving it on my hair I also used about half of the body lotion and what I really like about this is the fragrance of this lotion it is not a super heavy lotion it's very lightweight so if you like lotion that moisturizes and hydrates but is not too heavy you will like this but I like the fragrance of it I had it on one night and went to bed and put it on my hands and I was like what am I smelling this smells so good and then I realized it was this and this is just the body lotion from e-cooking so that is very good the hand soap I have used to here also very very good hand soap I would purchase this myself as well all of these products I would buy I love and then the shower gel 
I've used about this much and I keep the shower gel here in my house versus taking it with me to use daily so I'm only using it on the weekends but when I use the shower gel my skin feels very soft and hydrated and it's a nice scent but not overpowering nourishing and gentle cleansing and I would agree and I feel like my skin feels very hydrated but not oily or anything but just nice and soft whenever I use this I honestly think that this brand would be a perfect gift brand the packaging that I received the product in and the way it looked when I opened it and the packaging is just really nice to give someone so like Valentine's Day Mother's Day this is a great brand for gifting someone I would say I've also been enjoying the almond and avocado line from design essentials for my hair I've used both the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner, but I would say I've been grabbing the leave-in conditioner more. The fragrance is surprising though. It smells sort of citrusy, lime type of fragrance. It's a little strong, so if you don't like heavier fragrance in your products, I don't know how much you would like this because it is very fragrant, but I do like how my hair turns out. It's very good on my natural curly hair and I have really been enjoying using the leave-in conditioner every day when styling my hair. It helps to really stretch it and I just like how my curls turn out. So using this with that oil has been really great. And then I have really been enjoying this almond avocado curl enhancing mousse. So I've used quite a bit of this as well and it has been giving me very beautiful curls. So if you have curly hair, this is really good for getting those curls to be bouncy and not super crunchy. I can tell I put something on my hair though, but they're not really, really crunchy, but it definitely helps define the curls. I bought a gift set from Bobbi Brown at some point in a haul and I just wanted to come back and tell you guys that all of these products are really good. The cleansing oil is amazing. The eye cream is nice and hydrating. I don't feel it tingling and plumping, but it is definitely hydrating. But I've used quite a bit of this cleansing oil and it's a great makeup remover. And then of course you guys know I love this primer that I also have. It's like a vitamin enriched primer. It's one of my favorite primers and it is great for my oily t-zone. So this little trio that wasn't that expensive was a great way for me to try these two new products. I haven't had these before and I love this little set. <laughs> I'm trying to speed through this skincare guys. Moisturizers that I want to mention. I get oily in my T-zone but I have been feeling more dry because it's winter time. I still have been using my La La Retro Whipped Cream and you guys know it's one of my favorite moisturizers. You push it down here and it comes through the top there and it is by Drunk Elephant. It has six rare African oils in it. I love this moisturizer. I really don't ever want to be without it but it is quite pricey so sometimes I am without it but I love this and I've been grabbing that more and I've been using the Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. This is by Fresh and I've been grabbing this one a lot and loving the results as well. My skin feels amazing. It's just soothing to my skin so the minute I put this on I'm like Whew, thank you. It just feels so much better whenever I'm feeling a little dry. It's kind of a creamy looking moisturizer. It smells nice and it is quite hydrating. I love it. And I would say if you are very dry, one of my favorites here is the Milk Vegan Milk Moisturizer. And it's like Milk Makeup. That's the brand. And I've used a lot of this and whenever I feel my driest, this is the one that I grab. So if you feel dry and you're a dry skin person, this is a really, really good moisturizer. I wanted to mention this. Someone gave this to me for Christmas. This is the Aromatherapy Sleep by Bath and Body Works Black Chamomile Body Cream. I love this. It is so hydrating, rich and thick. It has sleep on it, so I'm assuming I should be like putting this on before bed. I just use it anytime. And I love this body cream. It is so hydrating and just, I love how my skin feels and I love this fragrance of it. Chamomile oil and bergamot oil in it. And I can tell that it has a little bit of an oil feel to it. It's like a moisturizer and cream that has a little bit of an oil in it. And this is so good. The one thing about Bath and Body Works products that I hate is that they come and go all the time. Like they're always changing their product line. So you may find something you love and you go back to get it and they don't have it anymore. 
So I'm hoping that I can find this again when I run out of it, but it is really good. These fresh products were sent to me in a gift set by Fresh. I like this sugar face polish. That's something that I hadn't used before. You massage this in on clean, moist skin and you feel the little strawberry seeds and it's got a little citrusy type of smell and it feels all nice on my skin and then you let it sit for five or ten minutes and you rinse it off and your skin just feels exfoliated i'm probably going to use this tonight because i like to exfoliate after i've worn heavy makeup but this is really really great i just want to come back and let you guys know that that is good still haven't used this firming overnight mask but i love this rose face mask again I have been feeling more dry in the winter so I will come in wash my face and then I will put this rose mask on right up until I go to bed soothes and tones if your skin is kind of hurting a little bit from the winter dryness this makes it feel amazing I'm not gonna get into this that much because I think that this favorites video is going to go up before this video goes up but be on the lookout for this video because this is a skincare system that was sent to me that i have been using and it has been helping my oily t-zone like nobody's business this is like a customizable skincare it's called your and i happen to be oily in my t-zone and i have other problems that i listed on a skincare quiz that i had to take for this company and that's what they sent to me there are four products in this box if you have different skincare needs, they would send you something different. So what they sent to me has been helping to cure my oily T-zone and I've been loving this. I've been using it now for a couple of weeks and it's amazing. The final skincare I wanna talk about came from a company called Nourish. I unboxed these when I talked about the e-cooking and the design essentials and this the Shungit and diamond or shungite and diamond soap beautifying daily face wash i've really enjoyed this it comes in this nice little glass black bottle this line from nourish is a high-end line but they also have a more affordable line that i wouldn't consider it to be like drugstore prices but it's more like sephora prices that's this orange container here this is the a serum brightening eye hydrator this has been good uh, but the two products that i really liked that i want to mention this is a dark spot brightening serum i was using all of these products and then i wanted to try the your skin products so that i could come back and give you guys an update about that when the time is right i stopped using the nourish but the first half of january i was using these and was loving them and i'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna fall in love with these products and i'm not be able to buy them again because they're kind of expensive but i still want to tell you guys they're good and as soon as i kind of um get done with my your i'm gonna go back to these because this is a dark spot like brightening serum and this feels amazing on my skin i just love how this serum feels on my skin and i can't wait to go back to it especially to see if it helps to correct some of my dark spots it felt so luscious on my skin and i was loving just how it felt alone and I can't wait to see over time what the results will be, but it is so good. And that is called again, the Azurin, I'm sorry if I didn't say it, Azurin Dream Dark Spot Brightening Serum, so good. And then this was also very good. <laughs> this is the Roasia Cream Supreme Rose Invigorating Cream is what this one is called. This is a unique looking product. It's kind of this yellow, product it kind of turns into an oil once you apply it to your skin but i'm telling you when i go to bed and i put both of these on my skin feels like it just took a nice drink of warm glass of milk or something it just feels so luscious but both of those are quite expensive i just love it though and i still want to tell you guys i'm i'm gonna figure out how i can get some more for myself i just wanted you to know it's really good even though it can be pricey so if it is definitely out of your price range i would say go with the other line i'm just happy that i have all of these products by nourish because they are good i do want to mention this brush 
I hate that this is already sold out. They had to do better. This is a Lunar New Year brush <laughs> and it's the Year of the Ox from Beautylish. And I probably bought it as soon as it launched. I don't think it was a week later and it was out of stock and I haven't seen it go back in stock. So they don't seem to make very many of these. <laughs> <laughs> which is awful but this is a great brush but i would say try the chikahoto brushes i'm not sure if chikahoto made this brush if you want to try a blue squirrel hair brush the chikahoto brushes are also amazing but i love this brush i love the size of it and i love the artistry and i'm just happy i was able to get it i will still link it below just in case it happens to come back in stock but it is so good I love that brush for everything. Every powder product is amazing. I only have like four lip products. I have one more, but I don't have it with me. There's a Marc Jacobs Beauty product. I love Sugar Sugar, but there's one that I've been keeping in my handbag and I've been reaching for that one a lot to top my lips. And the Marc Jacobs lip gloss is still by far my favorite lip gloss of all time. The wand feels amazing. I don't know what it is about that wand, but it just feels amazing on my lips and it just makes all of my lipsticks look beautiful. It just smooths all the lines and wrinkles on my lips it just makes my lips look amazing so I've been reaching for that a lot this month I've been using my lip maximizer and it makes sense because it's clear and it plumps my lips and it makes them feel great and it's just been wonderful in the winter it just makes them feel better when they're feeling a little bit dry and it's by Dior and I love it I've been using the Lancome Juicy Tube, and this one is Magic Spell, and it just makes my lips look nice and juicy. I've been using my Fenty Glosses. This is just one of them, one of those creamy ones from the set. I've been using them all. And I've been using this one by Pat McGrath lately. This is not the one that I have on right now, but I'm just gonna put a little bit on. And you can see, see how it gives that creamy look? And it actually, kind of looks like sugar sugar the color of it reminds me of sugar sugar because it's a little creamier in color basically guys just as i have been mentioning for months now i just like wearing lip glosses and nude lips especially with the face mask a favorite that i want to mention i did a video on this product but this is midori Lene jewelry and it's fashion jewelry i really like the quality of the jewelry and the uniqueness of these pieces and i love the hand chain that i received from her and i have really been enjoying this and i'm very happy with it i will link this jewelry down below so that you guys can check out her website she's a sweetheart and the jewelry that she makes is stunning almost made it to the end of the video and then I had to change my SD card. So thank you so much for joining me for my monthly favorites. I hope that you all have enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.